if you constantly live with the fear of pain or even just anticipating that anything you do, whether that is a social event, an activity, a movement or exercise, will result in pain or flares, you might have to start to change your mindset around that because your brain and your body can actually learn to feel more pain over time if you keep yourself in this loop of anticipating for the pain. Hi everyone, my name is Elaine Oyang. I am a certified yoga therapist bringing you pain care yoga so that you can rise above your symptoms and create a life of resilience. In today's video, I'm sharing an important component that you should implement into your daily routine as part of your daily pain care plan so that you are not bound by the fears that persistent pain can bring you. This component is to do things daily that challenge yourself. It may sound counterintuitive to incorporate things that challenge you in the pain care plan. After all, just waking up and showering may already feel like a humongous task for you that leaves you quite exhausted. However, it's also very easy to slip into the habit and the mindset where you start to withdraw from all social or physical activities due to the anxiety and fear of pain. Without some appropriate challenges that help keep you anchored in who you are, in your inherent strength and within your social circles, you may start to lose yourself. Part of your pain care plan is to make sure that you are exploring these edges and boundaries gently and slowly over time. Keep yourself participating in these activities, even though you have to adjust the manners, frequencies, and intensity. But these activities will continue to bring you joy, connection, a sense of self-esteem, and accomplishment. So let's talk about setting up safe boundaries and what I mean by pushing the edges a little bit. Do not confuse this concept of challenging yourself with the mentality of no pain, no gain, or the concept of doing things that challenge you as overexerting your body in exercise or pushing into the pain, believing that you can just tough it up and maybe as you tough up your body, your pain can be resolved. I'm actually arguing for the contrary, as a matter of fact. The first step is to recognize where this edge and these boundaries are in your energy and physical exertions in your day-to-day -day activity. The boundaries are defined by the amount of exertion your body can safely put into without flaring up. And once you've defined these boundaries, you want to work just up to the edges of those boundaries, challenging to expand these envelopes and edges just a little bit each time without overexertion. For example, you may start with a five minute walk around your neighborhood as your first data point. If you feel fine or even invigorated afterwards or the day after, that's a pretty good indication that you're working within your boundary. If on the next day you go on a 10 minute walk as your second data point and you find yourself quite exhausted afterwards and unable to recover fairly quickly, then you may have gone beyond the edge of your boundary. So you can assume maybe your edge is somewhere between five to 10 minutes of exertion when you're walking. So for your third data point, you may try a seven minute walk and you find yourself fairly invigorated, maybe with some mild fatigue, but where you can recover fairly quickly in a few minutes or a couple hours later. That, my friend, is your edge. That's your boundary that you want to gently challenge yourself within while slightly pushing outwards, expand slowly over time, over days, weeks, or months, so that eventually you can start to maybe increase to eight, nine, or 10 minutes. There is certainly an art and patience to find where your boundary is and where your edge is. But once you do that, you can use that as your marker to gently challenge the edges of the envelope. It's almost like you're learning how to use your body again and learning how to walk again. Transformation requires growth and oftentimes growth comes with some uncomfortable moments and sensations. When working with a sensitive nervous system, it is important to maintain growth without 
overwhelming the body. And this is what I mean by exploring and gently expanding the edges. When we are dealing with persistent pain, we have to relearn how to do a lot of things with different expectations and acceptance on ourselves. Look at this as an opportunity to learn how to walk again in a new and perhaps better ways. All right, friends, I'd love to hear from you now. What are some of the things you can think of that feels just a little challenging for you, but still could be a marker or milestone in your pain care journey? Once you've identified that milestone, break it down to smaller steps over periods of weeks or months that will slowly take you towards that milestone. Maybe it's able to walk for 20 minutes without stopping. Then by breaking that down, the small step you can take towards that goal could be to start a five minute walk tomorrow and work your way slowly, intelligently, and intuitively upwards while working within those edges. Keep yourself accountable now by sharing below. Sharing and acknowledging your commitment will help transform that intention into action with success. Now, if you have any further questions, I am one email away at elaineyogatherapy at gmail.com. You can also find me over at Instagram for more daily suggestion and pain management. And my handle is Elaine underscore yoga therapy. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.